Thank you for joining me on this wonderful journey through limits. Today's topic is continuity. The target is a little bit longer than usual. Identify the intervals upon which a function is continuous and understand the meaning of continuity. So part of this is identifying intervals. The other part is understanding the definition of continuity in its very specific way that it's defining calculus. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little weird, but le the left side of the picture here, we got a volcano exploding. This is a chemical reaction going on. On the right side is a picture of this really cool dude, and he is floating around in space. His body is moving through space in a, you guessed it, continuous motion. He doesn't stop. He may bump. He, he actually may stop. He may hit some sort of meteor and stop at a moment. But his body is moving in a continuous way. The chemical reaction on the left is happening in a continuous sort of way. When you think about all the industries that deal with data, they connect that data when they plot it with a continuous line so that at the points at which they measure, they can identify what would happen in between. So here's a simple question for you. Based on that, based on your previous knowledge, what does continuity mean to you? Feel free to discuss with a partner or internally. I wish I could write your answers down right now as you are watching this video, but just a quick few things that loose definition of continuous means to me. I don't know, without breaks or holes or jumps. I'm thinking about data now, scientists and stuff like that it can be visualized. You, know, you could draw a curve with your pen or pencil and you're not picking it up. So like when I drew this curve of this crazy guy, it's weird how his head got smaller. Oh, that's perspective. He's going deep into space. Okay, so let's see an example of this worked out. Whose house? Ralph's house! Snap, those raiders. All right, man. Okay, so let's take a look at this. When is f of x continuous? And what we got to do is use our knowledge of limits to, to find out what's going on. Obviously, or maybe not obviously, you can look at this graph and you could see some spots that are not continuous. The chemical reaction of the volcano has stopped at some point. In fact, let's just follow the curve along. We start at zero, and the function is defined at one, but it's discontinuous at x equals one. So that's our graphical proof. Let's show it analytically. So, uh, let's see, limit as x approaches 1 from the left side, limit as x approaches 1 from the right side. So, uh, when I go from the left side, oh my gosh, okay, let's see, that approaches 0, and when I go from the right side, that approaches 1. And so then, if I say the limit as x approaches 1, like a two-sided limit of f of x, I should have put the function notation back there, that is, does not exist. So let's continue to follow the curve. I'm at 1 now, so I jumped up to 1, and I'm going to follow the curve to 2, and I notice that there is a hole. The function is defined at 2, but there is a hole. So that means we have another discontinuity at x equals 2. But why? But why? Hey, I ask you, why? Well, it's because the limit as x approaches 2 does not equal the function's value 
at two. Oh, limits are useful. Thank you. Snap. We're getting really detailed here. Okay, so let's follow the curve as we go. Continuous, continuous, sweet. Thank you very much. So, when is f of x continuous then? Well, here are two other points that x is f of x is continuous, x equals 0, and x equals 4. Notice, those are the endpoints. And this is one of those, this is actually one of those things that in calculus, some experts believe that this definition could be, could be viewed in two different ways. But for the sake of this course and where we're going, we're going to say that this function is continuous at its left endpoint because the limit as x approaches 0 from the plus side is equal to the function's value. And the same reason for x equals 4, the limit as x approaches 4 from the minus side, from the negative side, is equal to the function's value at 4. That's just saying, okay, if the function is approaching a certain value at an endpoint, and the endpoint is in this totally random spot, then, you know, say it's up here, then that's just like as if it was doing that at the interior point. Anyways, I'll formalize that in just a moment for you, but, but this function is also continuous between 0 and 4, except 1 and 2. So, I mean, that's, we're kind of considering the discontinuous stuff at the same time and all that, but it's still part of the continuous function. That's a lot of work. Started with the graphical, went with the limit analytical part. Now, let's formalize. I showed you all this by example, this formal definition of continuity at a point. So, this would be something good to write down. At an interior point that if you find the limit as x approaches some value of that function and it's equal to the value of the function, it's continuous. And then we have the endpoints down below that consider the endpoints from, from both sides. And this is all saying that f is continuous. So keep writing that stuff down. f is continuous at these points and the points I'm considering are A, B, and C. In its domain. In its domain. In other words, we can't hold a function accountable to be continuous if, to be continuous at a point, if that point isn't even in its domain. And that's one of the reasons why we talk about domain a lot, so that we could define continuity a little bit more specifically. So to wrap it all up, and to make sure you know what's going on, consider this question. Is y equals tangent x continuous? Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Those are some horrible graphs of tangent, but the answer is yes. Tangent x is continuous on its domain. And that's a wrap. I hope you now feel confident that you know the meaning of continuity. Very specific. Taken that original definition and really sliced it up, diced it up, and identify intervals on which a function is continuous. Hey, thanks so much for watching.